Hey Star Seeds, welcome back. So today's video is going to be all about the Beyond Burger. Now, have you ever wondered the ingredients that are present in this burger? If you have, please continue watching because I'm going to be sharing with you all of the ingredients that are present in this burger and also a little explanation on each one. So there's 19 ingredients in the Beyond Burger and uh, we have ordered the burger so it's going to take a few minutes for it to come. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with the first ingredient. So the first ingredient is pea protein isolate. Guys, I have my notes here, so if you see me looking down, it's only because I can't remember everything. <laughs> so pea protein isolate is just peas which are crushed into a powder, and then the starch and the fiber are extracted from this, and what's left is a concentrated substance of protein powder, okay? That's all it is, pea protein isolate. Ingredient number two is expeller pressed canola oil. Now, canola oil is simply the oil extracted from the canola plant. And how they do this, uh, there's a method. The method is called expeller pressed. And what this is, is a machine which physically squeezes out the oils from the seeds. And uh, there are no chemicals involved in this process. Not too bad. So the conventional way of making canola oil is actually what they do is they grind the seeds first and then they submerge the seeds in a substance called hexane which uh, is used to extract the fats. This is obviously a chemical and um, the residue of hexane is found in canola oil. So expeller press is actually a little bit better because we don't get the hexane in there. So the third reason is refined coconut oil and the reason why they probably use refined coconut oil as opposed to virgin coconut oil oil is because refined coconut oil doesn't have that coconutty kind of flavor um, so in this process the coconuts are baked and then the oil is extracted from the coconuts um, after that the it's bleached okay which means that um, it's getting rid of any bacteria or microbes or insects that might be on it um, but if you are using refined coconut oil, that means that the nutritional value of it diminishes quite a bit. We're talking about polyphenols and medium chain fatty acids. Uh, the nutritional value of those diminish. So guys, when I first found out that this burger was in local stores, I went crazy and I bought so many packages and in one week, I had like five Beyond Burgers, okay? So that's why I'm not eating any right now. <laughs> mm. Greg? Looks Greg, really good. Greg does eat uh, everything. He's not um, plant-based, mm. but he thoroughly enjoys this burger. It's actually really good. Is it? Mm. What do you think about the texture? It's very meaty. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely not meat. I can taste that it's not meat. It doesn't remind me of meat. Right. But it is meaty. It doesn't remind the, uh, no, the taste. No, the taste does not remind me of meat. But the texture? But the texture does, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's a very, very tasty burger. Yeah. Okay, so while Greg eats his lunch, we are going to continue with the fourth ingredient, which is natural flavor. Now, this one is a little bit tricky. According to the FDA, they consider more than 3,000 chemical additives to be natural flavor. Okay, so when you see natural flavor on the back on the ingredients list, you might be looking at 100, 200, 300 um, chemical additives in there. So it's kind of scary. We don't really know what's in there. It's made in a lab. So basically they have an idea of what taste or flavor that they want. And then it's, it's like produced in a lab, which I find to be kind of gross. I don't know. I shouldn't say what I think though. <laughs> it's tasty though. That's what matters. Yeah. So. Um, I'm just going to read you something that I found online. What is natural flavor? It's one of 3,000 chemical additives, or actually 100 different things vaguely related to food, all conveniently and, anon and anonymously lumped together to form a cohesive taste reminiscent of a single real-world flavor. So the fifth ingredient is methicellulose. Now this one is not really a big deal. It's used um, in cosmetic products and food uh, as a thickener and emulsifier. It's derived from the cell wall of a green plant. That's all it is, no biggie. Ingredient number six is cellulose from bamboo. Now this is simply fibers extracted from bamboo plants. Okay, ingredient number seven is potato starch. Now this one also is not really a big deal. All it is is the starch extracted from a potato. Ingredient number eight, maltodextrin. Now this is a white powder made from corn, rice, 
potato starch or wheat and um, it's really high on the glycemic index and it's high in sugar and um, it's a food preservative and you're telling me that this has sugar yes wow. it's a food preservative um, it's to improve flavor uh, thickness and shelf life ingredient number nine yeast <coughs> yeast extract <laughs> ingredient number nine is yeast extract now this is used as food additives or flavoring often used to create savory umami flavors um, this is found in a lot of packaged foods like frozen foods uh, canned soups or pastries um, it's sort of a replacement for MSG so it's supposed to be a little bit better than MSG, but it's a replacement for it. Um, it actually contains the same concentrated free glutamic acid as MSG. So it doesn't sound too good, to be honest. So the 10th ingredient is sunflower oil. Now, this doesn't say expeller pressed or cold pressed, which means that when they extract the oil from the seeds, most likely hexane is going to be used in this process which is a chemical compound and those compounds are found in uh, the oil that we you know ingest so not a good thing let's move on to the 11th ingredient vegetable glycerin let me just read this it's a clear odorless sweet tasting liquid derived from vegetable fats made from coconut or palm oil so ingredient number 12 dried yeast now from according to my research this is just basically regular yeast used by generations of bread makers that's all simple dried yeast <laughs> that's all that's left yes I ate it all. number 13 is gum arabic never heard of it did my research it's a natural gum consisting of the sap of various species of the Assassia tree. Am I pronouncing that right? Acacia tree? It sounds like an assassin. Assassia tree. Assassin if you know tree. what tree this is, it's the tree please that leave a comment everyone. down below. It's an assassin tree. Assassin tree. <laughs> so tree. ingredient number 14 is citrus extract. I think we all know what that is and I can skip that. Number 15 is ascorbic acid. So this is a compound found in nature and it acts as a vitamin C in foods and it acts as a preservative as well. Number 16 is beet juice. Now this is pretty self-explanatory and I'm sure they're using beet juice to color the burger and give it that sort of reddish hue. Number 17 is acetic acid. Now this acetic acid is what gives vinegar its distinctive uh, smell and flavor. So number 18 is food starch and this is just basically extracting starch from foods that aren't genetically modified. So the last ingredient is annatto and annatto is actually used to color the burger. Um, it's derived from the seeds of the ashiote tree. Again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Do you know about this ashiote tree? It sounds like a Japanese tree. <laughs> it does sound Japanese. <laughs> so there you go guys, 19 ingredients. Mm. Just in time, I finished my burger. Yeah. Mm. So listen, it's up to you whether or not you want to be eating this burger. I'm actually really grateful that this company has come out with such a delicious uh, hearty burger. Um, but that's just vegan. That's vegan, that's plant-based, that's what I mean. But just keep in mind that it is highly, highly processed and you don't really want to be eating this every single day. Yeah, maybe once a month. Yeah, like for me, I want to keep it for those days where you have friends over or you're going out uh, to eat and you know you want to treat yourself and you just sort of want to be feeling normal in a social gathering <laughs> then you know I would order this burger and just really enjoy it or like you know since I've been working out a lot and I'm really I'm into health and fitness right now like I might treat myself like once every couple of weeks or once a month or something like that so just keep in mind it is a highly processed food and um, and it's delicious it is delicious it's absolutely delicious guys it is coming from meat eater yes and he's really picky with food like he will tell you if it doesn't taste good right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'll tell them yes hi star seeds so greg obviously finished his lunch and now we're just walking and enjoying our day the sun is out it hasn't been out in days so we're really enjoying it i actually i have to mention that the burger actually did taste good while I was eating it but then the aftertaste like I didn't like it at all it kind of made me feel a bit sick mm -hmm. so I don't know if I'll be eating that burger again I don't know it tastes good when you eat it 
Like I said, like I eat meat, so it doesn't remind me of meat. That it tastes nothing like meat for me. Uh, but the texture is very meaty, which is cool because I haven't tried any other vegan burgers that have a like a meaty texture, like so thick. Um, but yeah, the aftertaste, I didn't like it at all. Mm -hmm. So I don't think I'll be having it again. You know, when I went crazy and I got like, and I ate five burgers in one week, five Beyond Burgers in a week, I sort of experienced the same thing with the aftertaste and also f I felt just really tired after I ate it you know I don't know if it's because I had bread with it or maybe if I had vegetables with it maybe I wouldn't be as tired but it's just I don't know it just made me feel really tired and uh, sort of the aftertaste was kind of bizarre was isn't it yeah it's strange? strange it's very strange um, yeah. but I, I I do like I do support it I you know, I mean, like, we're living in a wonderful time where now people are just, you know, um, able to enjoy a plant-based diet even more. Like, I don't think anyone who's on a plant-based diet feels like they're missing out. I mean, there's so much on the market now. So I'm really happy that, you know, they came out with this burger. Yeah. It's just, uh, just be careful, guys, in moderation. Don't overdo it. You know, yeah. it is highly processed. You don't want to be having processed food all yeah, the time. Yeah, you don't want to be having it all the time. Just stick with whole foods and then treat yourself. Yeah. But I'm not here to tell you what to do. Neither is Greg. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. That's it for this video. Yes. You want to say bye to them? Yes. So, bye Starseeds. We'll be seeing you very soon for the next video, which is going to be a recipe video. So yes. On Sunday. In the kitchen. On Sunday. On Sunday. See you on Sunday. Bye.